Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Welcome back to What's in Doc Stack for New Comic Book Day, November 6, 2024. This is what I've got for you. First up, Batman 154. Chip's final run with the character in his final arc. And I gotta tell you, while I'm sad uh, that he'll be stepping away from Batman, I gotta tell you, he's saving his best for last. His run on Batman has been fantastic, but this particular issue and where this story is going is absolutely brilliant. I love the dark detective. I love that noir setting, that dark gritty feel of Batman using the clues, trying to figure out who the killer is. Uh, we get a pretty significant uh, ending at the end of issue 153. So if you haven't been reading Chip's Run up until this point, grab issue 153, read it, love it, read this issue. I'm going to tell you, this last doc is going to be absolute crackers. Uh, next up, we dive into the all-in universe with absolute Superman issue 1. I'm a huge Superman guy, love him, but even I will admit uh, that the old tried-true uh, Clark Kent, um, cal L origin story is a bit played. But what Jason Aaron does here is he flips it on its head a little bit. He gives you a fresh new take, a fresh new approach that when you see it, you kind of get the twist that he puts on it, and it's absolutely brilliant. And I really do think that it freshens up the character, brings him into the modern age really well. This was an excellent, excellent first issue. Uh, next up, Something is Killing the Children, Issue Zero from Image Comics. This, of course, written by James Tynan with art by Werther Deladera. This is a great re-entry into the Something is Killing the Children universe. Uh, it's a bit of an origin story that takes place before the first arc of the story. And while you're 40 issues into the story already, this is great for people who are new, uh, who have never read Something is Killing the Children, because you can read this without having had the prior knowledge. And if you love it, which you will, then you'll be inclined to want to go pick up the first several volumes and get yourself caught up, because this is one of my all-time favorite books, and Erica Slaughter is one of my all-time favorite characters, so make sure you check that out. Um, next up, Living Hell, Issue 1, Dark Horse Comics. This is written and drawn by Caitlin Yarsky. I've become familiar with her work from Sean Lewis on the books Bliss and um, Coyotes. Uh, she's a brilliant artist. I love her artwork. It's unique. It's beautiful. And I had no idea how she was as a writer. Uh, so Living Hell, Issue 1, she absolutely nails it. You're going to love it. So make sure you pick up Living Hell from Dark Horse Comics. And then lastly, from Mad Cave Studios, we have The Last Wardens, Issue 4, written by friends of the show Amit Tischler and Elliot Sproul, uh, with art by Rui Silveira. And um, this is a gut-wrenching emotional issue. I mean, it's been a fairly emotional series uh, to begin with. You know, I sort of liken it to Star Wars in the sense that Luke was the only one who still saw good uh, in his father, uh, even though his father was a very, very evil man. Uh, Danielle still sees some good in this monster that is terrorizing her hometown. Her brother is still in there, and she won't stop fighting uh, to save him, despite everyone around her telling her to give up, let them do their job, and kill the monster. She just simply won't do it. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of chaos and a lot of violence uh, that takes place in this issue as well. So absolutely fantastic series. So make sure you pick up all those books out now in your local comic book shop. And make sure you follow TLDR wherever you watch your podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And uh, you know it. Until next week, baby. Keep reading. Woo!